Hey everyone, Rich the Medic here, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We are going to start doing World War Wednesday, where I'm going to do various war games on Wednesdays. And um, we're going to start with Hearts of Iron. Now, I have played a lot of this game. We're going to do a new game. We're going to start with January 1936. We're going to play as Germany because, well, I want to. And it'll probably be the least boring. Um... Custom game rules. Um, do we want to mess with any of this? I don't think we will. We'll play on regular setting. We'll be the German Reich and off we go. Oh, are we going to do Iron Man? Uh, yes, we will do Iron Man. We might actually accidentally get an achievement. You just never know about these things. So... We will wait for this thing to load because sometimes it takes it just this side of forever. Now I have most, if not all, the DLC. I honestly do not know how to use man the guns. We may play around with that, but we are going to start with civilian factories making more civilian factories. The more we have, the faster we can get up things up to speed. So we're going to add one. To every province. Now we will get some more through national focuses, but for now this will get the job done. Military factories. Let's see, how are we looking for stuff? Now oh, we're in pretty good shape. So we will just put a line in everything to start start with you know tactical bombers eh early submarine holes I'm gonna want to go submarines but I'm going to want to okay the destroyer holes these are 36 destroyer holes so I'm gonna set these to just continue to make these ships for, well, ever. And for all the major ships. And for now, I'm just going to let them go to whatever fleet they want to go to. We're going to start a couple production lines of the new sub line. Put a couple in there, and that will take care of that. National focuses. Germany has a, a one option that nobody else has. We can either go to oppose Hitler, which will put us into a civil war and return the Kaiser, or we can take the more historic route where Hitler stays in power. And we're going to say we want the Rhineland back, which is this area here, which we lost in World War II or World War I with the treaties and so forth. It's demilitarized. Ah, come back here. I don't like starting with pre-made air forces. Since I'm not real sure where I'm going to need them, we're just going to mothball fighters for and so forth for now. Um, No divisions, that's fine. We've already taken care of that. We have unassigned divisions, so we're going to put these guys all in one big army for now. Um... Now we're just going to tell them to garrison everything. Because eventually we're going to break these up into regular armies. But for right now, that's not of any great importance. So we'll just garrison them. We'll give them some sort of an army commander. Uh, Manstein will work. We have planes and reserves. I knew that. Well, we're short on rubber. So, you know what? Dutch East Indies, why don't you send me some rubber? And let's start with our research. Now, I am going to get support weapons support going. Kind of helps give us some extra defense, a little bit of breakthrough, make some of our things stronger. But, ah, come back here. We're also going to upgrade our artillery to interwar artillery because we'll make our armies a little faster. Um, 
I want my research speed to be a little better. And we will start with machine tools for more productivity cabbage. So let's just take this up to speed five because this is going to need to run for a while. Okay, and we are good to go. Now, one thing that Germany in this version of Hearts of Iron 4 has to deal with are MIFO bills. Basically, we're buying people off to keep the British and the French from knowing how much military we are doing. So this is going to cost us. So we'll do that. And as you can see, daily political power cost is 0.15. So that's not horrible. Uh, there's some other things we could do. Demand. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to demand that the Dutch trade with Germany. Now, in some games I've played, this turns them fascist. And then I just go take them over because that's that's what we do. That's what we do only around here. Um, so, with our political power, what do we want to do? Well, one thing I thought would be fun to try to do is, let's turn England fascist. They already have just a little tiny bit of fascist ideology going on. And it's going up by 0 .5 here, 0 0.05 there, here and there, so why shouldn't we do it? Okay. Dutch, we do every 20 days. That's just going to become a recurring thing, and the more we click it, the more to our advantage it is. Now, going back to the tech tree, we'll be able to take quite a bit of ground if we're lucky without having to actually fight anyone. The next thing we'll probably do, well, not the next thing, I've got to get more military, is the Anschluss, which means we'll take over um, Austria. And actually, we've completed this. Let's pause this for a second. The next thing I want to do is the four-year plan. What this does is it gives us some research bonuses for industry, a new political advisor. We can get captain of industry, which means that we will construct things 10% plus 10% speed for construction. Um, definitely a good thing to have at this early point. And let's go ahead since we're fascist we can go to extensive conscription start building up our manpower although i'm not really building anything but let's do the dutch and you can see we're ahead of the english here and if they agree to our demands we'll get some political power back political power is a good currency to try to keep around um let's see We've got Navy here, here, primary navies over there. We'll just let them kind of sit and spin. I'm not good at the naval game, to be honest. I don't do not do so hot with it, so. Uh, let's do with construction to get some increased construction speed just from tech. Is it time to click you again? Yes, it is. So we will click you. But anyway, we will um, we'll take Austria. Then there is a way for us to take the Sudan land, which is this area of Czechoslovakia right here, and then eventually take Czechoslovakia. I believe that we can also just take Hungary. So that'll give us a pretty good piece of land. Um, the other decision we've got to make is, are we going to ally ourselves with Mussolini down here in fascist Italy or just absorb them and eh, no, Second London Treaty restricts the ships Italy just took over Ethiopia oh. So let's do dispersed industry so it doesn't get bombed into nothingness immediately um, We will go with radio for reinforcement rate and I'm also going to take mechanical computing to increase our research speed. So four-year plan is done. Congress, America is going to be neutral. Alrighty, so we are going to take this. This gives us a research bonus for excavation. Which means we can get resources faster. We can also now go get the captain of industry. So some increased construction speed there would definitely help us. 
And are we back to Mifo do? No, not quite yet. Let's go back up to speed five because this is just dead boring otherwise. Um. So yeah. Now Poland sometimes will end up where they get into a alliance with Romania. So if we decide to attack Poland, which more than likely is going to happen, Romania sometimes gets sucked into it. And we end up taking the kingdom of Romania. Once in a while, Lithuania will join in there. And I think there is a focus option where we can absorb all of Yugoslavia. And all of this without doing battle. What are we doing on supplies? Okay, it's, let's think, see. We have 30, we need 18. So we'll do four tank divisions and 14, just straight infantry. I only want to do one of each. And we'll just have you randomly appear somewhere when you're done training. The reason we're doing just 18 is armies can take up to 24. So if I, let's just go ahead and split this guy up. We'll put them in a new army. Uh, yep, the purges. Okay, you're done. We're going to go for building slots and civilian factories in Konigsberg, Westphalen, and whatever that other thing is that I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'm just bad. Anyway, if we give this guy Gudarian, you can see that this now drops down to 24. That's the maximum number of troops that he can control without suffering penalties. Uh, the 11th Olympiad. And since we're here, let's go ahead and put them into an army group. And we will give them Walter Modal. Now, as these new tro troops train and pop out, I'll add them to these two groups to get them both up to 24. Because each one is short 9, I'm training 18. Okay, construction is done. As is Radi the Radidio. So we get a 100% bonus for construction too, so we're going to take that ahead of time. Uh, Civil War in Spain. Goody, goody. And... Let's get logistics company. Well, let's let me send volunteers. Can I send an attache? Oh, no. You let me... Send an attache? No. Nash do I want nationalist or republic Spain? I think I want to help nationalist Spain. No real reason for it. Hmm. Ooh, you're communist. What? Oh, hell no. Uh, send volunteers. Let's see. I can only send two? Yeah, you know what? Forget that. Two, two divisions, not worth my time. Seriously, not worth my time. So we need to do the MIFO bills and the whole Dutch thing. Ooh, Britain is getting into the act. So let's speed up time again, because until something fun happens, and it doesn't look like it is. How much land do we have on you? So, did that really add anything? Not really. 
So let's see, what do we want to do here? More civilian factories are good in the beginning. Let's see, waiting for the Dutch to recycle, recycled. Um, we got a 100% bonus on this? Yeah, let's definitely take more industry. I'm always happy to have more industry. Uh, Army drill, reduce training time, and we are going to want mobile tanks when we have enough power to do it. So, do you guys... Oh, you have skills. Okay, aggressive assaulter, more breakthrough... Increased reinforcement rate, increased disguise. What do we want? You know, I'm going to take the aggressive insult insulter, assaulter, because I think I want more breakthrough. Oh, Manstein, you can have something. Scavenger, plus 3%, plus 15%. Rule of Fighter. Ah, uh, let's take the Entrenchment. And... Wow, you get you get a skill. Gorilla Fighter. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Let's give you Panzer Expert. That'll help with our tanks later. So, what do we got for research we can do? Uh, let's go with Radio Towers, because that'll get us down to Radar, which we're going to want. How many troops did you kick out? Oh, you kicked out 14 divisions. So we're going to split you. Give you half. And you get half. Okay, so now when the um, tank divisions pop out, good to go. Let's see, I think it's time to convince the Dutch that they want to do it my way. Because my way is the only way. I really wish we could get army experience without having to go fight people. How are we doing with our turning you commie or fascist? Wow. That's doing absolutely nothing. Well, we're going to go ahead and let that continue. And I think we will try to boost you into being communist or fascist too. I really like it if I could turn Russia fascist. But I don't think that's going to happen. But if we can turn the whole world fascist, that would work for me. Okay, so you're done. How are we doing for... Still don't have enough manpower. So do we keep doing this... You know, I'm going to do Army Innovation. The reason for that being is if I do Army Innovation, I can get Erwin Rommel as a high command plus 15% attack and defense for armor. So, do we have anything here we want to do? Any Democrat? No, because I need to be able to do this when it comes. So let's go ahead and speed time up. You're done. We'll go take care of you in a minute. And you're going to pop out now. Well, there you go. Let's do improved machine tools for more efficiency cap. Now where efficiency cap comes in is... Right here you see we're making... 4.8 support equipment a day. If we change this, efficiency goes down. You can see production efficiency is at 60%. 60%. So anything we can do to help that is definitely in our own best interest. What are we looking at over here? Nothing. Is there anything I want to do here? No. See, it's 37. It's a little early for some of this, but we could get field hospitals, which will help us later. 
right now doesn't mean a whole lot. Later, it will mean a lot. Uh, meaningful bills are due, so let's click that. And guys, I think we're set up pretty good for a start here for our German playthrough. Um, logistic companies are done. So I think we'll leave it here. If um, you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see me to do, um, I am recording these in a batches of four. So leave any ideas you have, any comments you may have, and um, I'll, I read all the comments and we may make some changes. Like instead of trying to play the game with Russia, do you want to see us try to take out Paris? Do you think trying to turn Britain fascist is a good idea? Because it's not really doing anything for us. But anywho, thanks for watching. Remember to click that subscription button. And the bell icon to know when our episodes go up because I can't talk. And as always, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride. This is Rich the Medic. I'm out of here.